Hey everyone, it's Bricknut, and in this video I'm going to be looking at these two LEGO Technic sets. And we have set number 42091, The Police Pursuit, and 42090, Getaway Truck. Now, I'm, I'm not big on Technic. Um, I actually prefer the older Technic sets, like from the 80s and 90s over these new ones, but I actually think these are pretty cool to look at. Um, and if I was like a child again, this, I would be really interested in these sorts of sets. Probably not necessarily the bigger sets, but definitely these smaller sets. Because um, I just think they look cool. Anyway, the main feature on both of these, apart from them both being linked in more ways than one, they do have a friction mower, so if I pull it back, it goes off by itself. And they both have that feature. So, I'm going to look at the police car first. It's a very slim line, very low to the ground, very sort of... I was going to say sporty, but it actually reminds me of a race car. Just the whole... There's the undercarriage, which from that angle reminds me of a Formula One car. Or something similar, you know, like a modified Formula One car. That's what this reminds me of. It's got two big stickers on the front here. It's sort of like printing of police and... Uh, I think they're meant to be headlights, looking at those. A little transparent piece under each corner here. One red, one blue, to simulate red and blue lights. Nice big wheels. It's got uh, these on the top here to simulate the red and blue lights on the roof. And... Uh, Nice fin on the back there. It's uh, got uh, what else? Another big sticker here. Another one there. And then it's got these little ones in the corner. Now these, I had difficulty getting off the sticker sheet. It's the um, oh, sorry, I just knocked the camera. Uh, it's the first set I've actually come across where I have struggled to get the stickers off of. So I don't know what went wrong there, and I thought it was a one-off, but nope. Because I've got another one of these sets. Um, and the stickers did exactly the same thing. Same two stickers, these two little ones. So something has gone a bit... Um, a bit amiss there. <laughs> Not too much of a big deal. I got them off without damaging them. But yeah, I've never struggled that much with a sticker. Anyway, I just think that's quite a nice looking car. That's the first one I bought. Well, actually I bought two of these. Because I thought it was a two-in-one set. It is and it isn't, but I will explain later. Then we've got the 4x4 getaway truck. Well, it's not actually 4x4 because only the rear wheels are driven. But I do like that sloped stance. You know, where it's sloping down towards the front. But I actually have to say, for so few pieces, I don't actually know what the piece count is for both of these. But I know it's not a great deal. Probably made up mostly by connecting pins and things, but I think as um, it looks good, you know, these little sets. Like I said, despite a low piece count, they do look good and they are a good size as well. And one thing I do actually like about these, because of the way they're built, they're pretty sturdy. So as a toy like that, if you drop it on the floor, it's not going to fall to pieces. Um, however, as I have noticed with a Lego set that I recently put back together, that um, Technic tow truck, uh, because it doesn't fall to pieces very easy when it hits the floor, you tend to break the actual Lego Technic pieces themselves. Although there's not a lot of weight in these, so I can't see you actually doing that. You would actually have to uh, either drop it from a very, very, very big height or throw it down with force there's just no weight behind this like there was the uh, my big tow truck to cause any damage I don't think it actually gives these the advantage from a, a child's perspective you know because they're going to want to play with them like this aren't they you know especially if, they've, if you've got them both because it's basically cops and robbers not very um, very well on the camera there there we go uh, it's got 
couple of headlights and a couple of stickers on the bumper on this one. One of them is a license plate, that's the license plate. I've got two big stickers on the hood there, and a big sticker there, and a big sticker there, and that is it. And again, this is quite sleek looking, very low lying cab there. You know, it's. I'm pretty certain these were designed to be fast looking. It'd be great if that did actually have a friction motor there to actually make it four wheel drive, technically. <laughs> but it doesn't. It, uh, yeah. There's not really a great deal to say about them, you know. I think I've mentioned everything. Like I said, the only downside with that one is that the stickers are a bit of a pain in the butt to get off, especially those little ones. But other than that, they're actually fun builds, despite being, you know, small. and so big they are, if I put it in the palm of my hand. Probably a little bit... Oh, yeah, probably a little bit bigger than your average city vehicle. So, they're not very large, but I still think they're interesting. And I've looked on the LEGO website, and I do a few more in this sort of uh, size range, so I might grab those in the future as well. Anywho, I actually bought two of each set, and there was a reason for that, because these are actually a combination. You can combine these two sets to make another model, and that model I actually have over here, because that's the reason why I bought two of each, is this thing. And that's why I had two st um, sticker sheets, because I put the stickers on this one as well. And that's how I found out it wasn't just a one-off with that. It is, well, both of my sticker sheets had the same issue with the uh, little stickers there. Look at that. Got uh, extra little lights in, in there, either side, at an angle. So it's got like little headlights and warning lights, red and blue warning lights, got a big bumper on the front. This is like um, crowd control or riot control or something like that. That's what I think that's meant to be. And this is theoretically four wheel drive because it uses both friction motors that come with each set. <laughs> so in theory, just to prove that they are both friction motors, here we go. In theory, this is four-wheel drive. At least when you do that, you know, all four wheels are actually being driven. So I thought that was actually quite cool that they did that. And again, if you look at it, they've put a sloped stance on it to give it a bit of a sporty look, I suppose. As well as, you know, quite a big, monstrous look. There's two seats in the cab there and a steering wheel. And they've uh, got the... Uh, Stickers that they used on the front bumper of the truck on there, on the um, sort of dash piece. But yeah, they actually used every sticker from both sets on this as well. I, I suppose I could have left these ones off because they're not, I don't think they really enhance this particular model. But as this is meant to be a police vehicle, uh, it made sense to at least put the police stickers on. Well, I suppose you don't have to. You could leave the what's meant to be the red and blue beacons off and leave the stickers off and just have a, a big menacing looking battering ram. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what you would call it. I just thought that looked pretty cool on the box. And I thought I've got to buy two of each set now so I can have one of these, one of the actual sets made up and the combined model made up. I don't actually know if this has a separate set number. I don't think it does. But uh, it actually uses all four wheels as well. Although there was a bunch of parts left over and I have actually made a boo-boo on this. Can you see that? I've forgotten to push the um, blue peg in. If I take the wheel off, which I should be able to do. There we go. Oh, I think I've actually done that wrong. I can't push that in. I've actually put the blue peg on wrong. Whoops. It's not actually affecting the wheel though. So 
but I will correct that because I now know it's there so it's going to drive me nuts until I do correct it. But uh, there you go, the wheels fell off and that still rolls along and stays upright. Whee! <laughs> that proves that's actually pretty well balanced. I give Lego credit there, that, that's pretty good. The fact it's not tilting down like that because it's got a wheel missing, that's pretty well balanced. That's, that's a good, that's a thumbs up from me for that. Anywho, I can show you some angles. There's a big sort of void in the back there. I don't know what that could be useful. Storage, personnel carrying, I don't know. It's open to the imagination. But, uh, yeah, I think overall it's quite nice. I'm not sure about these though. I think it would look just as good if these um, extra wheels weren't put on. I think they just put them on there to use them. But, uh, although I suppose if you're going up rough terrain, you've got that extra wheel there to drag it up, haven't you? And then, I suppose that's one advantage with that. Looking at a realistic point of view, I suppose. So anyway, I think that sums up this video. So. You know, it's, te it's not a two in one set as such because you have to combine these two to get this. Which I thought was um, quite an interesting method of doing things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please, and it's much appreciated. And. Uh, I always say this, but it's nice to have a reminder. I do have a Discord specifically for this channel as well as um, a Facebook page. So if you'd like to, go and follow those. I do post updates and whatnot on there and any possible downtime I might have to take because of uh, real life and whatnot that likes to get in the way. But anyway, as I said, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.